Hello, I'm Martin Shillington and this is a video all about Google Drive. We're going to cover four areas, cloud, creation, collaboration and communication. So just to give it a little bit of structure. So Google Drive is a cloud storage app, but there's so much more to it. Clicking in, what we've got here is the main area, looking on the mobile, and we've got two things. We've got in this middle section, we've got folders and we've got files. So this means that that's all you have to be thinking about in terms of the, of the structure of this, is that you have folders that contain files or could contain other folders. Now, the different types of files, you may have a spreadsheet, you may have documents, you could have images. If you click on any of these, it will bring up and we'll come into the share and things after, but uh, you will see them. If it was a document, you'd be able to click in. So this is all in that first section. But before I get into the detail, let's just continue with a little bit of a tour. On the lower left, you can, Benji loves it, you can start a new folder or create a new folder, should I say, just by clicking on the new and you then title it there and it would appear. Or you could upload or you could scan or you could start or create one of these three documents down at the bottom for a document, a sheet or a Google slide. It's like a presentation. So that's that. And the upper right, you click on the three dots, you've got the option to sort by, which you can then see the options there. And just back to get out, you can select which would select, for instance, that, that and that. And we'll move them down to the bottom. And then from there, if you click you can, for instance, move them to an existing folder there. Just go back, or you could, I must cancel that, or if you click on again, you could remove them, you could clear the selection, or you could star all three. Also, if you see here, there's a little pin, that means that you're gonna be able to keep those ones offline, and then they'll sync as well. As I said, there's a lot to this little app. Then we come to the upper right again. If I want to select, all, click them, that's going to select all of them straight away and it brings the eight items down at the bottom. That's going to include the folders. Click in here. If I go to details, it will give me the details of what's been going on with those particular folders over a period of time and you can show more activity down at the bottom. Okay, just come in here and I'm going to clear the selection and that just gets it around. You can also select just by holding a file or a folder and it will move it down to the bottom in that way and you can see the options that you will have or clear selection. Right, next, just underneath my head, you can see here a different way of displaying. So that's all that does is move them around. Click to search, I think this is really, really powerful. Not only can you search by names, what words, you can also search by the type. So if I just wanted to find PDFs, for instance, I would just look for that, then search a name, let's say business, and it will bring those particular ones up in that section. There we go, so that comes. So again, all part of the functionality to get you used to and navigating around this particular app. Okay, let's now come across to the left and we've got the familiar photo, we can see ourselves uh, there. Drop down, you could add an account if you wanted to, so you could add it like a, an apps account. You go into shared with you, you're gonna see different files or folders that are shared with you. If you go to Google Photos, this is something that we'll uh, have a look at with settings, is that you can have your photos upload there. You've got recent, which is changes then to the recent. It's things that you've starred, again, another way of finding content. Um, things that you've said that you want to have access to offline. And then if there's uploads going on, you can click in the uploads. You've got the storage, you've got notifications. So if there's things that you need to be paying attention to and then we come to settings. This gives you, for instance, the option I mentioned earlier. Let's have a look. No, it's not, not there. Yes, there we go. Auto add, for instance, your Google Photos into Google Drive, show your notifications, and you could have sounds as well if you wanted that, and a few other bits and bobs in there. Right, so that's now really taken us. Let's just go back to the, the starting point. So that's taken us on the tour. You get a good idea of what the app looks like. Now, what I'd like to do is just recap very quick. We were talking about cloud, so this is very much about storage in the cloud and gives you access to whatever device you're on. But we're also talking about creation, 
and we're talking about collaboration. This is where I want to go next, and then we'll talk about communication from there, which is about sharing. So let's dive in. If I click on an existing spreadsheet, and I happen to be structuring something here, a little project about daily jokes and looking at optimizing content for search, what you can see here is we've got a plus at the top with a person next to it. Now, if I type somebody's email address, I can add them in and they're going to be able to edit that document if I give them the rights to. Now, if I dive in and look to have my assistant there and then I click down next to it, if I give them the options of either edit, comment or view, it gives them an access of ability to, to change the document, for instance. If I want to give this access, I can go in and send them a message and let them know what this is all about. But let's just dive in again. Those are the options. You can either give somebody the right to edit or the right to comment or the right only to view. So edit is the greatest, which means they can change what you do. Okay, if you wanted them, you just click on the top arrow in the upper right and that would then send them the message or give them the access. I won't go into all of the functionality or all the apps, but just to show you on the upper right first, so you can dive in, change it. So this is something like a little jokes project there. Remember, you can use voice, which is there. Now, when you're in the document, if you click on the upper right, you'll see things like find and replace, have an explore, share and export is where I'm going to go in a second. But you can see here, download and keep in sync. If you wanted this to be particularly offline, let's say I don't, I'll change that one there. And you've got the details there. But let's now go. So this we talked about collaboration, working on documents together. You can have more than one, of course. But if you go share and export, there's something here. Not only can you add people, which would be sharing to a particular email address. If you click in and you share and export and you get the link, you can give that link to people and that's copied to a, a clipboard and they are going to have the access based upon the settings. You've got here, anyone with the link can view. You can see that down at the bottom. If I wanted to change that, then I can click and choose, for instance, just letting them allowing them to edit, which will give them more rights. Great. So then let's say we're going to go share and export. Let's go for another way. Let's say I want to send a copy and I'm going to choose it. So I'm going to choose a PDF version. Click there. And so I've just PDF that and it brings up this option to share by whatever way I want. So this again is extended the Google Drive app out beyond itself into potentially a social space, or you may email it to people and so on. Now you can have multiple projects going on with multiple people, all at different access levels. And that means you're going to want a little bit of thinking through how you organize your folders and your files and who has access to what. Now I'd like to show you one more thing. So we're covering cloud, we're covering creation. Remember we've got that down there. You can just create a fresh from down there. We're talking collaboration, but we're also talking about communication. Let me show you something I think is very cool. If you go into presentations, and I'm just going to bring up one presentation and show you. Let's just dive into, let's go into that one. So just single click takes me in and we'll take you in. From there, if you click on the play button, you see it says present on this device or present to a new video call. Well, present on this device, as you'd expect, will we'll play it on this particular phone. But if you go present to a new video call, what happens is that it will connect with Google Hangouts and you can either present there or you could send invite. So you start to see the links. Let me choose inbox. And you've got the link then for people to join and to observe that particular presentation right off the bat. So I think it's pretty amazing. Right, there, ladies and gentlemen, was a guided tour of Google Drive. Hopefully you can start to see some of the benefits. Really look at how you organize yourself, look at how the folders are organized and name everything. The search functionality is absolutely wonderful. But the biggest thing is that this is, we've been using this for years. And if you're still passing emails back and forth, then with files attached, then look to move to Google Drive. It will transform how quickly you get things done and who you can work with all over the world. There we go. Take care. I shall see you next time.